Before the doors of your new or upgraded space are thrown open for real on day one and thousands of freethinking customers put your new service to the test, thoroughly planning your operational readiness will ensure there are no big surprises. This is how the ORAT team at Arup used a proven approach to risk-proof the launch of Heathrow's Terminal 2, knitting together three key components – processes, people and proving – to satisfy stakeholders, staff and customers. These operational readiness tests are very, very important to make sure that everything does work the way it is, and if it doesn't, make sure that we have time to make it work. Scaling and scoping how long the transitional period between the construction being built and the terminal operation starting is absolutely critical. Theoretical processes were mapped out, needing to serve 160 stakeholders. After about a year of documenting all the processes, we developed a scenario builder taking into account each stage of the passenger journey and all possible eventualities that could go wrong. Heathrow really wanted to understand what was happening around OR periods. How do you learn lessons from previous uh, challenges that have gone on around the world? Training thousands of people is no small task and the range of experts included operational psychologists to predict how people would pass through the airport. It was really important to adopt a stakeholder-led approach ensuring that they had the training they needed for the terminal to be successfully opened on day one. We had to invest time and energy on taking people on the journey, trying to get the excitement of Terminal 2. Live trials put the theory to the test, flagging up any potential problems. We have today about 3,200 volunteers coming in. They're departing or arriving, some of them are connecting. My job has been to look after the T2A boarding gates. My role was supporting the check-in area lead. I had to get the, the trolley guys to get about a thousand trolleys up here. We've got to provide all the bags for the volunteers. We have to provide pets or simulated pets, so pet boxes. We decided early on in the trial to go for electronic feedback, that every questionnaire is tailored to the actual volunteer. And within five minutes after a trial, we can see the results. There were about 800 issues identified, and because we had a really robust process put in place, four weeks out, we've achieved about 80% of those issues. When Heathrow said they wanted someone who was not going to do the work for them, but was going to work with them, we really knew that we could make that work for them. If I go and ask anybody who's Arup and who is Heathrow, they can't actually tell you. What that does is it gives them great confidence in how we're going to work with them. The opening day was a tremendous moment for us. One of the biggest compliments we got on day one is, really? Is this your day one? It feels like this has been here for a long time. Launches don't come much bigger than this, and it shows that with the right approach, you'll have a day one ready for any eventuality.